people i'm back with another video and today i have some new products from born pretty to review for you guys they actually reached out to me and wanted me to review a few more of their products they let me pick these products out which i was super excited about y'all know lately i have really been into the um what is it like the solid builder gel so this is the born pretty version of it i have previously reviewed one from vetsy on my channel so i am going to leave that link down in the description box below in case you guys want to check that out but yeah i'm excited to be trying these out so let's hop into all the items that i picked out so first um i'm gonna start with these items here first i'm gonna start off with this nail tip glue um you guys know that i'm a huge huge fan of gel x nails and so um i thought it would be handy to have the nail tips gel in a tube which I I just think that's genius and so let's take a look and see what it looks like okay so it looks like a nice looks like a nice thick gel here yeah I feel like that's gonna make it really easy for applying the full cover tips so we have this and it is a 15 gram container so that's how big that is and then I'll also ask to try their peel off base coat um, so y'all know my favorite my favorite peel off base coat right now is from Moran and I've been open to testing a new peel off base coat so I really wanted to give Warm Pretties a try and so I did pick this up let's take a quick look here so this is what their peel off base looks like okay let's see looks like it's about the same viscosity as the one that I'm used to using Okay, really nice. So I'll be putting that to the test today as well. Next, I picked up this shiny glitter painting gel. I believe this is like the, the silver chrome one that kind of looks like a mirror. Um, I had been really wanting to try that. Yeah, it is. Oh no, it's not. It's a glitter. Okay. It's a pretty silver glitter color here. I thought it was going to be the one where it was um, like the mirror but it's not but this is really pretty though so this is a black that has this is like a silver glitter that has like um it's fine silver with like blue purple kind of hollow it's really pretty so i like that all right so that's the consistency of it oh that's pretty i like it Yeah, that's really gorgeous. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and cure that. And then the last three items here are these really cool, um, they call it the Extension Nail Gel Non-Stick Hand. Okay, so I'm gonna first start off with, I guess, the clear. Wow, okay, so that is what it looks like. So it is just a solid nail builder gel, I guess. This one has like a little bit of a hole in it, so I'm just gonna pop that bubble. Yeah, it looks looks really interesting. Kind of like the other one I worked with. So yeah, y'all. Um, yeah, it's really thick. <laughs> so yeah, that's what we're working with with this. Okay. Now you guys, I got a lot of flack in my last video about touching this gel directly with my hands. First, I want to make a disclaimer, you all. I am not a licensed nail tech, okay? I'm a DIY nail enthusiast, and so um, everything that I do on here might not be the proper way to do things. Um, it's just what I'm just showcasing what works for me on my channel. Um, so always use precaution when you guys are watching people's videos, and if there's a technique or method that may not that you all know may not be the safest practice, you know, just don't do it. You know what I mean? So yeah. So in the last video, I did touch the gel products with my hands. And so, um, it's not advised to do that, right? You all shouldn't be touching any uncured product with your hands. And the reason for it is that some people have allergic reactions. I actually don't have allergic reactions to gels, but some people can. So just please use your better judgment, use precaution with this stuff. It's not advised to do it, but I am doing it. Okay. That's just, just putting it out there. So I am going to go ahead and pick up a little bit of this product here. Okay. And let's see. Okay. Yeah. It's very similar to the one that I reviewed from Betsy. So I am going to go ahead and put it on a swatch stick here. So for this first one here on the clear, I'm just going to go ahead and just press it onto the nail, kind of like I did in the last video here. Okay. And it's super easy to work with. 
y'all see this is the consistency of it okay and I'm just going to scoop up a little bit more I hope it's not going to cause air bubbles if there's air bubbles in this that's my fault y'all not the product <laughs> let's see like this maybe okay this one I feel like is a little bit of a looser texture than the Betsy one um it just feels a little bit softer to the touch so yeah, I'm going to go ahead and just finish molding out the nail here with it. If there's air bubbles, like I said, that's probably my fault. And then after I pat it into place, I'm going to slightly just rub it to get it nice and smooth. Alrighty, so that is the first one here. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and cure that for 60 seconds. The next color we have here is pink. And this is what the pink looks like. It looks like a nice bubblegum pink color. Okay. Really nice. Let's see here the consistency. Yeah, it's really soft. It's a lot, like I said, it's a lot softer than the one from Vetsy. Um, so what I'm going to do is just use what, what's on the lid here and sh mold my nail with it. You see how it just kind of peels right off. Yeah, y'all, don't these look just like bubblegum though? <laughs> So I'm gonna go ahead and press that down and mold out my nail with it. Okay. And then you wanna slightly rub it up and down, up and down, up and down. And cure that for 60 seconds. And the last color we have here is nude, okay. I'm gonna go ahead and just open it up like this. And that's what it's looking like, okay? I'm gonna just go ahead and scoop up just a little bit of it, and I'm gonna go ahead and mold out my nail with it. Like so. Yeah, I really like this nude color, it's very pretty. So this is what all the colors look like swashed out. Again, this is the Dark Sword color and the BP GP02, okay? And that is what it looks like swatched out. It's an absolutely gorgeous kind of black silver glitter that has like beautiful hollow micro chunks in it. I really like that a lot. Next one we have here is the clear. You guys, excuse all the air bubbles in this swatch. That's because um, the product was kind of folding on itself and so a lot of air bubbles got created. But I will say that this does have a yellow tint to it. Um, so if you all can see here, um, it is a little bit on the yellow side. It's not like a, a true clear, um, but that is what it looks like. Next we have here is the pink color. This is a really beautiful like bubblegum pink. Um, and so that's what that looks like. Last but not least if we, is we have this nude color and that's it's quite a nice nude, I must say. It's like a very warm tone nude color and that's what that looks like so yeah y'all i am going to go ahead and um since it's the last i guess this will be my last nail therapy thursday of 2022 um i'm gonna try to do a new year's set you guys for welcoming in 2023 and yeah i just want to take a moment to say thank you all for making 2022 such an amazing year for me um so many cool and amazing things happened over the year i met a lot of amazing and wonderful lifelong friends here um on youtube and just yeah thank you all for making my journey on here amazing so yeah y'all let's hop into this look and let's welcome in 2023 with a bang okay i have decided to go in with my full cover stiletto tips and i am going to be using the nail tip glue to adhere them to my nails as well as this peel off base coat i'm going to be giving this a try now i do have product on my nails already i'm actually using the um builder light bay from madam glam so that's what i have on my nails right now um, my nails are kind of in a weak state right now so i'm needing to have something on them just to kind of protect them um when i filed off my last gel polish set i didn't do a good job at it so my nails are really fragile and brittle right now since this is a curable base coat um normally i have to lay down a layer of um, non curable peel off to make sure it doesn't stick to this builder gel and not come off so i am going to be going in um with my oont peel off base coat this is actually going to be my first time using this and i'm kind of excited about it okay what i want to do first is i just want to wipe off the surface of my nail with some alcohol just to make sure that you know 
it's nice and ready to go. After I do that, I'm gonna take my oomph peel off. Okay. And just apply it to all the nails. And once you apply it to all the nails, just let it air dry. Okay, so my own peel off base coat has completely dried to the touch, which is nice. Next, I'm gonna go in with my Born Pretty peel off base coat, okay? And I'm gonna apply that to all of the nails and then cure for 60 seconds. Born Pretty peel off base coat has been applied. I'm just curious to see how sticky it is. Doesn't feel too, too sticky, okay? But yeah, it's been applied and it's ready to go. I'm gonna go in with my um, Gooseneck LED lamp. Okay, or my flash curing lamp. I'm gonna take my nail tips here and I'm gonna take the solid tips gel from Born Pretty and apply my nail tips. So with this, if you all want the nail set to last longer, you'll etch the inside of the tip, but since I'm gonna be popping this right off, I'm not gonna do that step, but all you need to do is apply a little bit of the nail tip glue to the base of the nail here. You'll go ahead and turn on your lamp like so. And then you'll just take it at the cuticle, like so, and then just let the product flow down. And then go ahead and cure for 60 seconds. That is what the nail is looking like after it's been applied. You'll go ahead and repeat that process on the rest of the nails. So I'm gonna show you all one more time. You'll take just a small amount of the nail tip glue, apply, it here at the base you don't need a lot a little goes a long way then you'll go ahead and start at the cuticle of your nail and just let the product flow its way down and then put it underneath your lamp and cure for 60 seconds This is what all the nails looks like after they have been applied. Next, I'm just gonna go in and just kind of crisp up the shape ever so slightly. And then I am going to buff the surface of the nails and we're gonna get into our nail art. This is what the nails look like after they've all been file shaped and buffed. I am gonna go in with these two colors. I'm gonna go in with this um, black um, polish that has uh, gold shimmers in it as well as this beautiful gold from Beatles and that's what I'm going to use to make my New Year's nails and I'm also going to do some 3D nail art so I'm going to apply this black to all of the nails first oh that's pretty and I'm going to go in with two coats of this as I'm applying my gel polish I wanted to uh, send out a quick apology to everybody who attended my premiere Last week, I actually scheduled it for the wrong time and completely missed it. So thank you to everybody who was there and who participated in the premiere. And yeah, just sorry for that little mishap I had last week. This is what the nails are looking like with two coats of polish. I'm loving this gold and the black. This is absolutely beautiful. Next, I'm gonna go in with my index and my pinky finger and apply this gold. I'm gonna kinda do a ombre coming from the cuticle out towards the, um, from the cuticle out towards the tip of the nail. So I'm just gonna apply this gold, kinda concentrated here at the cuticle, and I'm gonna fade it into the top of the nail. Like so. I'm gonna go in with my liner brush and just kind of fade it towards the tip of the nail. Like so. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and cure that for 60 seconds. That's what that nail is looking like so far. I'm gonna go ahead and repeat that process here on my pinky. And to get it to flare out, you just want to do thin strokes um, up towards the tip of the nail and then just continue to fade it until it blends almost like an ombre to the top. I also want to create some fireworks on this nail here. So I'm going to go in with my Joss Love liners in white, silver, and gold and I'm going to create the fireworks here. So I'm going to first go in with the white, okay. And what I'm going to do is I'm gonna create two bursts, okay? I'm gonna have one burst here, okay? One burst 
here and I want to have one kind of off to the side here okay and with that what you want to do is just create like these thin strokes um, kind of all going in one direction to kind of create the burst so I'm gonna do like a thin line like this a thin line like this okay like this like this and it doesn't have to be perfect okay like that like that and like that and then I'm going to start making it kind of going up a little bit up a little bit and then same thing on this side I hope I'm in focus y'all okay and then like so like so and like so okay and I'm going to repeat that on all the rest of the nails and then I'm going to cure for 60 seconds Okay, happy people, I wanted to say that I hope that you all had an amazing Christmas. Um, what did you guys do? What did, were you able to spend it with the family? Get good quality time in, open presents, eat good food, etc. Um, mine's went really well. So my hubby's birthday is actually the day before Christmas. So he's a Christmas Eve baby. So we actually went to this amazing light show and um, went ice skating. And then on Christmas, we went to church came home, got into our jammies, opened gifts, and then we also went to a Christmas party later that day, and we went in our jammies. And so it was a really nice, awesome weekend. So this is what it's looking like so far. Honestly, I feel like you could just leave it as is, but I'm gonna make it, you know, more interesting. So I'm gonna go in with the gold and repeat that same process. In addition to that too, the vendor event that I was telling you all about last week went really well. Um, I went with my, my, my good sister, Abby, and yeah, she made a lot of sales. I was so excited and so freaking proud of her, you guys. Like, she out here doing the thing, okay? And I was able to make a few sales as well. I made three sales, um, so that was pretty cool. Um, and if you all are curious about, you know, that event and want to see highlights from it, I did save the stories and my highlights on my page. So if you guys want to go over and check it out, see how that vendor event went, it's over there. And so, yeah, y'all, let's get back into the look. So with these fireworks now, I'm going in with that uh, gold color from Joss Love. And I'm kind of following, kind of in between where the white strokes were, I'm putting the gold strokes in there. And then I'll continue that process on all three of the bursts. Next, I'm gonna go in with my silver and add the strokes in between the gold and the white. And I'll do that for all three bursts. This is what the nails are looking like so far. So I do actually want to try and sculpt a wine glass or like a champagne glass, just like, you know, popping a bottle for the new year, okay? So I'm gonna go in with this non-stick gel and do that. Um, not really sure how I wanna go about doing it, but we just gonna, I'ma just kinda go with the flow of what I feel here. So I guess I need like a piece of plastic. Hmm. I'm gonna take this plastic, this little piece of plastic here. Let me cut a piece out. So I'm gonna do it on this little tiny piece of plastic here. And so first what I want to do is just take a piece and I want to form like um, the uh, actual glass itself. And I'm just going to take a piece off like so. I'm going to roll it kind of into like a little ball. But then I want to form, let's see if I can just put it here. I think this might be too big. Yeah, that's too big. So I'm going to break that in half here. Okay, I'll set that right here. And I want it to just be where it's round at the bottom and flat at the top. So that's what I'm going for here. Like so. I guess I can kind of use this brush here to kind of mold it into place. And I want it to be really flat at the top. So I'm just gonna try to make it nice and flat. Like so. And then I want it a little bit thinner on the sides. Like a little thinner on the side here. Alrighty, so this is what I have for the actual glass. I'm gonna go ahead and cure that for 60 seconds. And while that's curing, um, what I have left over here, I'm just gonna roll it to kind of make the stem of the wine glass. 
like so. Okay, that might be too big too, but we'll see here shortly. All right, so that's gonna be the stem. That was what it looks like after it's been cured. Next, I'm gonna go in with the stem here. Make it just a little bit thinner. Okay, and then I'm gonna actually break off a little piece of this. Probably break off maybe this much here. And use the rest of this as the stem of the glass. And I'm gonna just put it right underneath here like so. Okay, yeah, that's good. And it's still a bit long. And what I'm gonna do is the bottom of it, I'm gonna let that be like the rest of the glass, if that makes sense. So let's see if I can get it to be flat here. I think I need another piece here and add it on right here on the other side, just to kind of form that wine glass. This is how our little wine glass is looking or champagne glass is looking. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some tweezers and pop it off. Oh my God, you guys, how cute. Let me put it on here, see if you guys can see it. Wow, look at that. That turned out so cute. Wow, yes, you guys, this is so cute. Now I'm gonna go in with my Beatles rhinestone glue. I'm gonna use that to actually adhere this little charm that I just made, my little wine glass here. I'm just gonna put that right down the center of this nail, like so, okay. I'm gonna go in with my top coat. I'm just gonna use the one from Pretty Diva. Apply that right over that charm. I mean, right over the rhinestone glue, like so. I'm gonna go ahead and take my little DIY, my little wine glass here. Put it right here on the nail, like so. How cool is that? Okay. It is sticking off the nail a bit, so I'm gonna go ahead and cure it in place and then just kind of reinforce it. So that's what it's looking like so far. I'm gonna cure that. This is what the nail is looking like. I did go ahead and add a matte top coat to the nail so that when I added gloss to the wine glass, it popped a little bit more. So yeah, y'all, let's see how we are gonna do this. Um, I think I'm gonna take a white and just kind of ever so lightly outline the wine glass so that it does kind of come to life a little bit, you know? So, I'm gonna just go in and just, you know, outline it like so. So I'm gonna go ahead and cure that for 60 seconds. So this is what my cute little wine glass is looking like so far, super duper cute. So the last thing I wanna do is just add a little bit of the actual bubbly inside of here, okay? So we just gonna do some small strokes here just to add the actual you know, champagne into the bottle. Like so. That looks good to me. I'm gonna cure for 60 seconds. Wow, you guys, I am absolutely loving how my little champagne glass turned out. She is too cute. So yes, y'all, the last thing left to do is to go in with top coat. I'm gonna top coat all the nails as well as my 3D charm, throw some oil on these crusty cuticles, and we are gonna get into the finished look, okay? All right, you guys. Ain't she cute though, baby? Yes, I am loving how this set turned out. Y'all, how cute is this little champagne glass? Like, I love that I made it a matte background and that it's a 3D champagne glass. And when I added that little gold polish to it, it just really looks like an actual drink, y'all. Like, that's crazy. I absolutely, this is my favorite nail, hands down. And I do love my little firework nail as well. I went ahead and added a little bit of bling to the middle of the burst, you know, just to give it a little more oomph. So, yeah, y'all. What do y'all think? I'm absolutely loving how the Manny turned out. I went ahead and just did the ombre on the thumb as well. And also, you guys, really quick, with the leftover nail extension gel that I had, 
to create my uh, champagne glass. I did go ahead and pop it into just a random silicone mold that I have. So I wanna pop this out with you all and see what it looks like. Yeah, cool. So look at that. So I created a little heart charm as well. So yeah, I just love the versatility of these products. So yeah, you can always paint over this with a gel polish color and you know, have it match whatever set you're doing. So yeah, I really like these products a lot. That's very cool. And it's no wipe as well, which is really nice. In regards to these new products that I have from Born Pretty, I do really like them, okay? Um, so I had a lot of fun using this to create the 3D nail art. So this, uh, my wine glass or my champagne glass here, that was really cool. So, you know, I love the versatility of using these like non-stick gels or like the solid builder gel. Um, I've previously, I've, I've used them three different ways now. I've previously used it as um, to actually build out the structure of my nail. I've used it to apply full cover tips and press-ons and now I've actually used it to sculpt um, actual 3D nail art. So these are a must have in anybody's nail collection. Um, so yeah, that's really awesome. The peel off base coat. Um, actually when I was doing my thumbnail, it did pop off. I wasn't able to capture that on camera, but, um, I do think this is going to be a good peel off, but I'll have to test this separately when I don't have actual product on my nails. And this nail tip glue was absolutely phenomenal to use. It was super easy, um, and super quick. So, uh, this is something I'm probably going to be going back and getting more of from Born Pretty. So yeah, a special shout out to Born Pretty for sending these products over for review. I do have a discount code with Born Pretty as well. I'm going to leave it here on the screen as well as down in the description box below. So if you guys are interested in checking out any of their products, you can. And then they're also available on Amazon. So I'll leave Amazon links to these products um, down in the description box also. So yeah, yeah. what do y'all think about my New Year's Manny? I am wishing you all a happy, happy New Year in advance. And um, let's make 2023 a great year. Let's make it even better than 2022, y'all. We're going all the way up in 2023 okay so yes i do upload every tuesday thursday and saturday thursdays in particular are my nail therapy thursday premieres where i tune in live with you all as you watch me do my nails and if you all like what you saw here definitely stick around join the happy family i'd love to have you and as always you guys leave some love in the comments down below and i'll see you in my next video i hope you all have a wonderful awesome spectacular day bye